Celebs at the entrance were in short supply, so we ventured into the Evian suite to see who we could find. I'm a huge Wimbledon fan, yes I am, and particularly this year. What's so special about this year? A lot of underdogs, apart from Andy Murray, who's not an underdog, but Sabine Lisicki and, well, particularly Kristen Flipkins. I am very, very, very happy for both of them, and I can't wait to see them play. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm definitely rooting for Murray, I think it would be nice. Uh, he's definitely caused some... Uh, some worried, worried fans, particularly with his performance yesterday. But he, he seems to always uh, seems to be playing with people's emotions. That's what he quite likes doing. I think. It's all maybe he has it all under control. He's just like a hustler. It was the most incredible. I was actually at the theatre during the fifth set, and I must say, I watched more of the, I watched more of my phone than I did of the play. Although the play was brilliant, but it was gripping tennis. <laughs> So you must be really excited for the game tomorrow as well. I can't wait. I can't wait. I will be glued, glued to my television set. We're kind of uh, on our on our off period, which means I kind of have to do all the things on my to-do list, which have been piling up whilst we've been filming. Um, so uh, back to work, really. Well, actual work. I'm about to start filming um, about a boy for NBC and. Uh, um, I've got a couple of movies coming out this summer and <clears throat> I give it a year, it opens next week in LA and it's a nice, busy but relaxed summer. But you still make time to come into London? Are you kidding? I wouldn't miss it. Uh, so we to start in the beginning of August, I think, filming and then, um, and then, uh, yeah, I guess we'll kind of run on through. Squeezing a bit of Wimbledon, yeah, before I, before I jet off, we're going to New York next week, so it's nice to have a, have a taste of Britain before heading stateside.